Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Boy Trent is back in the video, and today Ole Miss got that win again, 15-1 on the season. Today Ole Miss uh, played the uh, Vanderbilt Commodores, got the win by 13 points. The final score was 69-56, to 56. and you guys see today, do you have a guest on the channel? Do you have on Mr. Kopi P, and we just want to kind of share our thoughts and opinions from this game. So, Kopi, just kind of some... Fan reaction, thoughts, opinions from today's game. I'll let you go ahead and talk first. Yeah, I, I think that maybe we didn't play, probably play some of our best game, but we're still seeing some good ball. Uh, it's a better than some of those one or two point um, last minute or last possession games we won in the non-con. So, you know, getting a double digit win in the SEC, I will never, you know, uh, scoff at it. Uh, did we have some work to do? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, still a good win, two and one in the uh, SEC, two SEC wins in one week. You know, we'll take it because, you know, it's it's uh, always uh, going to be a gauntlet in the SEC. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, yeah, I mean, even, you know, even this Vanderbilt team, you look at their record, well, they're, you know, they're five and 11 now, but this is still a team that's, you know, overall, I think they're better than what the record shows. That's just my opinion, but they're still overall not a bad team overall, but. Yeah, they got some size. They've got some length, uh, and they've got some shooters. I don't think it's really going down with them, and I really don't know uh, what the uh, scope is uh, in Nashville and over there. Uh, you know, you would think Jerry would be able to get some uh, big time recruits, and for the most part, he has. He has recruited decent, um, but uh, they just uh, can't get it done over there in Vanderbilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was – it might have been Washi or two years ago. They had a bunch of games. I was just determined by just a couple points. I forgot what year it was now. But, uh, anyway, moving along to the to this, you know, moving on to uh, today's game, uh, what's just kind of your thoughts on the offense today? Well, uh, it was nice to see Flanagan actually get it going. I thought he was really mm -hmm. smart with the ball. I mean, I, I, mm -hmm. I can tell at times maybe he was taking some coaching – where he would want to take that three. I've seen him a couple times not take it, uh, find the extra pass, get it down low, uh, take the smart two play, two points, uh, and just um, let's feed off of that, you know. Uh, and it was good to see him step up and actually help uh, uh, Juju because Morrell is on a scorcher right now. And I hope he's oh, yeah. riding mm -hmm. that into SEC play because we need it. And it's such a good thing for this kid. Uh, I, you know, I think his first two years, you know, he would just couldn't get the ball to go in. It's so nice to see that pay off that worked. And, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's just great to see because, uh, Matthew is a special player. He's got speed. He's got size. Uh, he's got length. Um, he can play both sides of the court. Uh, so just good to see him knock some shots down. I think he had what 24 might have been more. Uh, so yeah, I think it was 24. I think he had 23 wins tonight, and he had 24 of the day. So, yeah, I mean that's that's big time. That's big time for him. Yeah, and you know, like, like you mentioned, you know, like the first. I mean, this is just kind of my take on Morrell. Like the first couple of years, you could tell the talent's there. Just not everything has come together. Yeah, yeah. This year, he's knocking down the shots. He's playing the defense. He's doing it all. And I mean, you're seeing what he can all do this year. It's all coming out. And it's looking pretty good every game. Man, uh, I hope he can ride this heater through uh, the rest of SEC play. And we're, I think we'll finish in that top six. Now, that's per personally, it's me. A lot of things can change. Uh, I think the SEC can get six teams in. Uh, we should be able to. Uh, so, uh, if we can ride that heater, play smart ball, uh, I think I think we're going to be really, really good. Also, offensively, I think Cisse. I think Musa Cisse is – starting to gel with this team. I think our team is starting to find him in the right spots, you know. Uh, so that's, that's very promising to see. Um, Sharp, I think, has struggled a little bit. Maybe offense is not really his game. Uh, defense is really where his strong foot is. But Cissé can light you up in the paint. And I really love to see that little chemistry, you know, that bonding that, we, that, that we're seeing in, in, in the basketball uh, uh, for him and our ribs, and that's in that sense that he's going to play a major, major factor if we can break into uh the tournament this year. Oh, yeah, yeah no doubt. But yeah, this is he says, well, now it's second start. You know, he started back on Wednesday night and started mm -hmm. today, and I can definitely tell a difference with some things for sure with him starting now. Yeah, 
I mean, they're uh, both, like you mentioned, like Sharp and CC, they're both well, they're both defensive players. The offense has been kind of a struggle for both of them. Hopefully they can both, you know, pick it up offensively, um, you know, here in the coming weeks and coming months. But uh, defense is definitely a strength for those two for sure. Yeah, and, you know, uh, the one thing about it, I'm gonna, uh, I had some thoughts on Wednesday night too. Uh, that was a great win uh, uh, against a Florida team that's probably not their most talented. They still have some good kids on that roster. Um, I just thought Sharp and Cisse, um, and even Brandon Murray was in the paint, just, um, just schooled them. I mean, it just beat them up. I mean, honestly, Florida's, uh, front court is atrocious. Uh, that was glaring, but, um, mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and, and again, on uh, Wednesday night, Juju, it seemed like there was some, I mean, cause Florida's got linked now and oh, yeah. they were able to take some of the perimeter stuff that we like to do away. Uh, early on, and it looked like a couple times where, uh, you know, guys didn't – wouldn't for sure how to create their shot. And, and I noticed a lot of time that ball finding Juju for creating a shot. And, and I will want to say that I would love for my point guard to have to have that role, uh, handling the ball, that you know, the turnover assist ratio, all those things that, that helps teams win. <clears throat> that was good to see in that Florida game. Um, of course, home court. Student section was big time riled up. You know, that was really good. I thought the student section showed up big time today. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, oh, t what a great week for Ole Miss basketball. You know, let's keep riding this now. It gets a little tougher. It's, it's going to get a little tougher. I mean, uh, State had a great win against Tennessee. Uh, I, I keep saying if we had, t if we would have played Tennessee at home, I don't think it would have been that. I, I just don't think it would have been that. No. But we got to go on the road here. Yeah. It would have been a different story, in my opinion, too. <clears throat> No doubt. Okay. I do want to talk about the defense as well, too. Just kind of yeah. ask your thoughts from the defense today. Saw some soft zone. Uh, yeah. I love us coming in and out of that soft zone. And I mean soft. Uh, I, I, evidently, it was game plan maybe toward Torres, I think, um, to take some of those corner threes away. As soon, as soon as that ball swung, swung to that corner three, you can see our guys. We, we were right there. Yeah, we were right there. We so were ready. And I, I love to see that. Uh the intensity when we need it to ratch up, I love that, and I think that's going to carry us very well. And I, now, look, as we saw in that Tennessee game, if if they got bigs with size and they can run, they've got a point guard and they, they can run a pick and roll and a pick and pop. They're gonna, it's gonna hurt us. It's just gonna hurt us. It is. We're not playing a lot of zone, so it was good to see some of it today, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But. Yeah, I'll mention this in the past. Well, I'll mention this right quick as well too. You know, like back in like the AK days, uh, even you know even Kermit, you know we we mix things up all the time. With beer, you don't really see as much. Yeah. And yeah. I, now, yeah. Going back to that uh, coach beer philosophy that we had, we you know I think this is going to be a continuing conversation oh, yeah, as it goes on. We're going to learn his style a little a little more. Uh, but, and I've said this some on uh, two other times we've spoke that I really think our offense is really winning this ball games. Um, just uh, a thing I see is uh, there's uh, not a lot of run set plays that we would see AK run. Or uh, you yeah. know, we we'll see that a lot with AK. We, I don't know if I don't really know what the philosophy is on Beard's offense and uh, how he's running, but whatever it is, it's working. I'm still slowly paying attention and trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And I just think he's got guys that can it's knocking shots down. So, I mean, that helps too. Yeah. I'll, 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 tell that. You, I'll tell you one thing I want to see more of is more pick and roll. Yeah. I want to, I want to see, you know, <laughs> say and Sharp, therefore those two get more involved in the pick and roll. I don't I mean, think – I, I, I'm not sure Sharp has the, uh, the frame for it, but CSA for sure. You know, but I'm like you. I love a good pick and pop, good pick and roll. Uh, I think I think we got the shooters to make that pick and pop work, especially with uh, Jamie and Breakfield. So, yeah, I would love oh, yeah. to. Yeah. But, you know, in the college game, it's a little hard because you're going to see a lot of zone. You're going to see so many different – there's not a lot of isolation ball to, to get that working. Um And then there's, you know, you got to be – you got to be conscious of those – those, those switch-offs and – those mix matches that are not that's not going to play in your favor, and that's probably another thing that Kermit's doing too. And I, we, we don't see a lot of that. We do not see a lot of that. And that's another good thing about running set plays. Is a lot of times your guys, if they're not on the same page, they're going to get mixed. They're going to get uh, uh, they're going to get mixed off with with the wrong guy, and you don't 
you know, uh, good teams exploit that, right? You know, good coaches exploit that. Yeah. They can't handle running their offense the way they want to. So uh, maybe there's some – I don't know. It just – it don't look like street ball on offense, but <laughs> – I think we got a great point guard at the helm, so that probably helps helps up a lot. You know, remind me of Chris Warren in those days. So, yeah, Chris Warren. That's a pretty good comparison. Yeah, I I never have thought about it that way before, but I kind of see it. Okay, you got any more final thoughts, opinions? Man, I you know the final thought uh, for this thing is is uh, you you can't as as the way the last couple seasons gone. We can't scoff at double-digit SEC wins, uh, even if they're at home. That you know, that's the whole point of having this nice new uh, arena. The way we got our student section, and they bought in. Uh, the fan base is bought in. Um, so you know, we can't scoff at these things. Well, let's embrace them. This is going to help us. Uh, I think we have a really good chance. Um, and uh, we'll see what the, this next week entails. I'm ready for it. I'm ready as well too. I'm ready. I'm ready for the next game already. Hopefully that winning streak will continue right. on. But um, but anyway, yeah, I think that's all we have for the video today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you could, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, would be appreciated. See y'all next one. And of course, hotty toddy, hotty toddy.